In this video, we introduce protocol reports in ARM, customize their components, and export the report to a file. To begin the reporting process, select File, Print Reports. The list of available reports is on the left, split up by whether you are in a protocol or a trial. Some reports simply export the information that has been entered in the study, like the protocol description or treatments reports. Other reports provide tools for performing the experiment, like the spray seeding plan, which calculates the amount of each treatment component to measure. To choose a report, click on its name and select Add this adds the report to the report set list of reports currently selected for printing. Let's add a couple more reports to this single printout. You can double click on a report name to add it to the list as well. To change the order of the reports, select a report and press the up or down arrow key while holding down the shift key. This moves the selected report up or down in the list. When a report is highlighted, either in Available Reports or the Report Set list, the report options for that report are loaded in the center of the screen. The main options for this report are editable right from this screen. Select More Options to view all of the possible options for the report, displayed in different tabs. The global options apply to every single report, and each individual report has its own customization options as well. The Report Preview tab displays the general appearance of the highlighted report, which is helpful to see how changing an option can affect the overall appearance of the report. For example, turning off the Compress Report button adds a lot of extra space where no data was entered. But turning that option back on, we can see how much more compact the report looks. Once the reports are in the right order and customized to our liking, press Next to run the reports through the currently open study. Some reports have additional prompting. Here we have the application plan, where we can select particular applications and review the treatments before creating the spray seeding plan. The print dialog has several options for where the report can be generated. There are some page-related options to configure, and can view a final preview of the report on screen. Then you can simply send the report to the printer. Or the report can be generated as a spreadsheet, document, or PDF. A spreadsheet does not retain the spacing and formatting that we noticed in the preview, but can be useful with data reports when wanting to perform additional calculations. A word processor document can sometimes have a few quirks in the formatting, but typically matches the preview well. This is helpful if wanting to combine the output with other company document files or make other formatting changes. The PDF option always matches the preview exactly, although does offer fewer additional formatting options after the fact. Each of these output choices have a section of options. Then to the right, press the Print To button to generate the report in that file format. Note that the file name for the generated file can be configured at the bottom of this window. 